about 16 millivolts feed into microwatts. It's saying use hands-free option. It's just 4G, 120, 188 millivolts feed. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're gonna to be doing an RF exposure challenge. We got the Samsung Galaxy Note, the iPhone 11 Pro, and the illustrious iPhone 13 Pro. Look at that amazing camera. We're testing out the RF levels. And in case you don't know what RF is, just go into settings, general, legal, and then RF exposure. You get a bit of information here about the specific levels Apple, Apple has tested it with. And it gives you advice saying use hands-free option where you can to minimize RF exposure. Of course, all of these phones are legally sold in your country, so they should be safe. Whether smartphones could actually cause cancer from the radiation that they give off. Below the visible section, I regard that all as completely safe. The study found no direct correlation between RF radiation and ill health effects. That's right, the official United States government says right there on the screen, clear evidence linking mobile phone radiation. Your cell phone radiation may just be more dangerous than cause you stick your head up to your shoe phone for 24 hours a day. So we found abnormal brain function in all of the firefighters we examined. I know scientifically that putting up these cell phones, cell phone towers is safe. So first let's start off with the beast. This is the iPhone 13 Pro. We're gonna test it out on Wi-Fi. We're gonna test it out with Bluetooth and we're gonna test it out over 4G, not 5G, just 4G. And to test this baby beast out, I'm using two RF meters. I got, this is the HF B8G, measures up to eight gigahertz in frequencies. And I've also got a second device, measures up to 10 gigahertz. I'll be using both to see, you know, some sort of idea on the readings. So let's start off. We are on Wi-Fi right now. We're getting, this is microwatts, 1.6, that's nothing. And it goes up to 2,000, which is two milliwatts. Okay, and then it jumps up to 60, 85. And this is just an idle screen right there, 50, 50, and it jumps down. So you can see that it's pulsing. This uh, meter is pulsing, You're getting uh, microwatts, and it did jump to 85 just there. Maybe it was doing a background internet check just to find out what's going on in the world. Again, it's pulsing again, it's gone up to 66, 70, 114. Uh, it's probably just downloading some stuff. I'm seeing that my location data is being peaked. That's 130, 100. Don't know what it's doing. I'm gonna go off that screen. I'm gonna turn the screen off to see what's going on there. 120, it's pulsing right now. Not sure why. See, I'm right next to the fridge and it's completely nothing is happening outside here. Now, when the microwave is off, you can see, well, it's barely nothing, zero, zero coming out of this fella. But when we turn it on, see that from this distance, we're getting 300, 360 milliwatts per meter squared, about half a meter away. The levels have dropped down to 100 milliwatts per meter squared. So that's the kind of levels you're getting when you're using mobile data, Wi-Fi, uploading and downloading data right next to you. So using your phone next to your head is like this much away from a microwave oven. 106 and the screen is off. That's, uh, I'm gonna take this phone away. Just see what's going on. As soon as I take the phone away, as you can see, the levels have dropped back into microwatts. So it's definitely this phone is doing something in the background and 130 right there. I'm gonna disable Wi-Fi. And remember, in order to disable Wi-Fi, you can't use this menu because if you disable Wi-Fi using this menu, it does nothing. You need to actually go into settings and turn Wi-Fi off. So with Wi-Fi off, you can still see that it's pulsing 130 milliwatts per meter squared. So I'm now I'm gonna turn off Bluetooth. Don't use this quick Bluetooth change button. That does nothing, but I'll turn it off. And as you can see, it's still on in the settings menu. So you need to always turn it off in the settings. And it says airdrop, airplane, find my location surface, use Bluetooth. So that's probably what's causing the big pulsing up to 150 milliwatts per meter squared. So I'll turn it off. And we're still getting 105 milliwatts per meter squared. 110, 150 milliwatts per meter squared. So I don't know what this phone is doing right now. I have no idea but it's definitely pulsing 176, 120. So that's uh, a bit bizarre for me, 90 milliwatts per meter squared. I'm gonna take this phone away one more time just to see. 
and as soon as I take the phone away, it stopped. So this phone is definitely buzzing and I don't exactly know why. I'm gonna turn airplane mode on and hopefully it will drop and you can see it's gone into my quads there. So nothing's happening there. I'll turn airplane mode back off. I'll turn airplane mode back off and it's gone to 100. So I'll see what else in the settings could be causing it. Turn off mobile data. And after I turn mobile data off, it is still buzzing away. So there's something else in this phone. Or has it? No. So I turned off mobile data and it stopped buzzing. So I'll turn mobile data on and boom, it is buzzing away. So this is using a 4G SIM. We've got two bars here and it seems to be wanting to do something in the background. Exposure notifications. Maybe I'll turn that guy off. And it's still buzzing away. Privacy, location services. I'll turn that off completely, turn off. Is that what's causing it to buzz? Location services is off, everything is off apart from 4G and we're getting just a constant 196 milliwatts meter squared. I don't know what's going on there. I'm gonna put it on the right side of the phone. And it is, it's still 50, 23. It's slightly less than what it was on the left side of the phone. So if that helps a little bit, I'll do the top. It's still buzzing at 100 to 60 and below. Oh, this, this that, that's what you wanna look at right there. 250 milliwatts per meter squared it was on for a second. The screen is on. It's just 4G, 120, 188 milliwatts per meter squared. So this is probably where the antenna is doing most of the stuff. I'll turn the screen off. 215, as soon as I turn off the screen. So I, I don't know what this phone is doing. So let's get a bit of comparison. I'm gonna go move this phone far away and I'm gonna switch over to my 11 Pro. 11 Pro is on Wi-Fi, and as you can see, it's micro watts, so there's nothing happening here. I'll just put it back to the default posture. Turn Wi-Fi off, Bluetooth is turned off. This one is still buzzing away, 25, not as much as before. It's sharp to 100, so, so it, it does buzz still on the 11 Pro. It does still buzz, screen is off, 20, 116. Of course, there's one thing you can do on the iPhone 11 Pro that you can't do on the 13 Pro, unfortunately, they've disabled it. But on the 11 Pro, if you go into mobile data options in mobile data and select voice and data, you can reduce the levels down to 3G. Of course, your phone will respond slower and it really depends on your network connection. But when it's on 3G, you can see that the levels drop into microwatts. So all of that crazy buzzing kind of like disappears. Whereas when you switch it back over to 4G, it starts shooting up again. I got background app refresh turned off. I got location services turned off. I got everything turned off apart from 4G and it is fierce, 188. And really the only way around this is airplane mode where it will hopefully drop. It's just sending its last pings and boom, it just dropped to zero. And finally, this is my Samsung Galaxy Note. Just put it next to the device. We're in microwatts right now. I'll unlock the screen. It's on 4G and it's shot up to 18, 20, 20 milliwatts per meter squared, 16 milliwatts per meter squared. It's not like the 150 milliwatts per meter squared levels that we were seeing before. So it's doing some sort of activity in the background there. You can see it's going up and down, probably doing something so there you have it, series of tests, RF City over here. Obviously it looks like this one is the lowest out of the two. I can't comment on the latest Samsung phone. They may just be just as bad as this. But uh, yeah, you saw the various levels of degrees. These two I gotta say are very, very, very similar. This one is like 10 times lower and it respects your judgment. When you turn Bluetooth on or off, it, you can turn it off from the quick actions menu. Whereas these guys, you need to always go into the settings. And really the only way around these phones now is just to go on airplane mode because it's always buzzing when you're on mobile data. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Bow.
16 millivolts feeding to microwatts. To say use hands-free option, it's just 4G, 120, 188 millivolts feed. Whether smartphones could actually cause cancer from the radiation that they give off. Below the visible section, I regard that all as completely safe. The study found no direct correlation between RF radiation and ill health effects. Well, that's right, the official United States government says right there on the screen, clear evidence linking mobile phone radiation. Your cell phone radiation may just be more dangerous than of course you stick your head up to your shoe phone for 24 hours a day. So we found abnormal brain function in all of the firefighters we examined. I know scientifically that putting up these cell phones, cell phone towers is safe.